Hey everybody. So today I want to talk about flip dots. Recently while perusing Hackaday, I saw a few articles talking about flip dot displays. And I've always wanted one of these flip dot displays. I think they're super cool. After looking around online, I did find some that you could buy for relatively cheap. But as always, I figured I could make it myself. So what you're looking at here are two of the first flip dot prototypes that I made. The one on the right was the original one I made one night when I decided to do this project and I uh, ripped open a old speaker and pulled out this small magnet. After figuring out a couple bugs with this and sort of how this technology works, I decided to purchase a magnet specific uh, to this application. But before we go into this second one, Let's talk a little bit about this first one. The basic makeup of the flip dot, other than the dot itself and the magnet that it carries, are this main body that holds the axis by which it rotates, and the two magnets underneath. These two magnets are electromagnets. Essentially, they are enameled wire spun around two iron screws. Depending on the direction of current flowing through each of the electromagnets, the dot will flip up, or if we reverse that, it'll flip the other way. Another important feature of my design are these two little posts that extend from the base. These two posts essentially stop the rotation of the dot as it turns over and prevents it from going too far so that we can see either the black side or in our case here, the yellow side. There's a little notch in the dot itself to allow it to pass as it rotates. You can see that the other side of the dot over here will get caught on this post as it, as it turns. One of the issues I ran into with this design is that these posts are a little too small. They need to be a little bit higher. You can see the dot here is pretty much horizontal. And when I reverse the current inside of these coils, it doesn't always want to flip. So in my next design, I increase the height of those a little bit. So with the second revision, not only did I make these posts a little smaller, but I also took cutouts out of the side here because I noticed that it was getting caught on the edges of the base and possibly the uh, tip of the screw there uh, coming up through the body. So here I've it connected to my bench power supply. If I connect power, you can see that we get a nice fast flip. So other than just flipping the wires manually on my power supply, I want to be able to flip this dot some other way. Well, I could go with a microcontroller and some transistors to, or an H-bridge to do the switch for me. I want to try it instead with this toggle switch. So this switch is a double pull, double throw momentary switch. That means that there are two independent sides in that as we actuate it, both sides will be actuated at the same time. And it's momentary as it always sits at the off position in the center, and then we either go this way or that way, and it'll activate either this side or that side, connecting it with the middle. So for our purposes, we'll connect the flip dot to one of these sides, connect power to the middle, and then switch the direction using these other two pins. It'll be much more obvious once I start starting things up. So we got the switch mounted up and some wires cut. So let's uh, start adding them in. So here's the switch all soldered up. The green and blue leads are going to be connected to the electromagnets here underneath the flip dot. Power is going to be provided through the middle two lugs through the red and black wires here. In one position, the momentary switch will connect the middle set of lugs to this upper set. In that case, the red will be connected here to the blue and the black connected here to the green. In the other case, when the middle is connected to the back, you can see that the polarity is switched so that this black is now connected to the blue 
and the red is now connected to the green. This switches the polarity and will make the dot flip. So why don't we get everything here connected up and check and see if it still works. All right, so we have everything connected here through a little breadboard and we have power supplied. Now I'm using 12 volts and uh, I'm essentially using the overcurrent protection in order to switch this. And I have it set so that it provides about one and a half amps each time I push on this little switch. So if we push it, you can see that we flip. I think I could sit here and do that all day. All right, now that I have this single flip dot working, I kind of want to make a small uh, little art piece display for it. So in the next video, I'll show you how to take that same circuit and uh, show you how I made this little box here. It allows you to sort of play around with this single flip dot.